So in this video I thought we'd look at how we could actually upgrade the Wi-Fi antenna on the Google Nexus 7 first generation in, in order to give us a much better signal over a greater distance. So what I plan on doing is showing you two different methods on how you can upgrade the Wi-Fi antennas on the Nexus 7. And for the first video, because I'm going to do it in two separate videos, um, uh, what I intend to do with this one is actually add a SMA connector, which I have one here, to the back of the Nexus. And that will allow us to plug in different antennas from the dipole antenna up to the bi-quad antenna, basically any antenna you want to connect as long as it's got a SMA connector on the back. So this back is the original back and what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that one as it is because I want to keep that one intact. So what I've actually done, I've gone on eBay and found a seller who's scrapping quite a few Nexus 7 parts and I got two backs off him for £4 each free shipping. So what I thought we'd do is actually modify these and then we can actually clip the back off which is the uh, standard back for the Nexus and if we want some more range plug on one of the modified backs. Now I got this idea because there is a company online that actually sell the modified Nexus 7 back and theirs has a uh, SMA connector attached to the back of it and I think it retails for about £60-£70 so it is quite expensive when you think about it. you can get one of these for around £4 off eBay and modify it yourself with a SMA connector that's already tied into a pigtail here and this costs £1.50. So before we actually go ahead and modify the antennas um, I thought we'd do a baseline check and I've got my test router set up and the Nexus 7 is connected to it. I have got it a lot closer than what I would normally have it when I'm testing antennas but I've got it so it's just on the um, border of being a non-connectable signal. It's right there in the red. Really poor signal. So uh, hopefully, I'll just refresh it. I haven't managed to get it uh, above minus 85. So we've got the back off the Nexus 7 and it's really really easy to get the back off a Nexus 7. It's probably one of the uh, easiest backs to remove on any of the tablets. Apart from the Chinese tablets that normally the back falls off. But um, Azus originally I believe were going to put a camera in here but uh, they decided not to and they've left us with this nice recess on the aluminium manganese chassis here. So we've got a nice little bit of depth there where we can actually seat our SMA connector. Now what I actually intend to do is drill through here so we have our SMA connector going through there and run the cable along the back here. Get rid of the Wi-Fi antenna that's already in place but keep those two as solder points and also connection points so the cable will be stuck to the back here with the SMA connector going through and when we want to swap it out we can just click it in place and those two points would make contact like they were originally designed to do but instead of going to this uh, Wi-Fi antenna here it'll run down our coax and go straight to our SMA connector and whatever antenna we decide to connect to it. So that's the plan anyway but first of all what I've got to do is modify this SMA connector and I've got to get rid of some of this uh, metal around here, this sleeving because um, I want the coax to actually bend more flush so we can get rid of this depth here because as it is now it won't fit in how I want to intend to and I have seen people who have mounted it sticking it straight out of the top here so it sticks further out but that uh, it just looks a little bit ugly so I'm going to try and modify this to see if we can uh, create a little bit more space and it'll sit nice and flush with the back. So I finished modifying the SMA connector, a little bit fiddly but not difficult to do. I just got the Dremel and slowly ground away that metal shim until it became loose. Then I got some cutters and just cut it away from there. And then the outer braid that would normally be inside the crimped on shim. I just brought all that down to the base here. Ground away a little bit on the base so we had something to solder onto. And just soldered it all onto that base there. It looks a little bit messy but uh, it's doing the job 
and if you ever do anything like this make sure to uh, check for continuity make sure you haven't got uh, any crossed wires so uh, we've got something now that's uh, a little bit more lower profile and it should fit into that case a lot more neatly so I want to know exactly where this recess is in relation to the back case now there is a little recess here in the case itself um, but I'm not quite certain whether that is the centre of this or not so what I've done I've actually got some of this sticky foam and uh, cut out a square and I've laid it sticky side up and I'm hoping by just uh, putting the back case into position it'll actually stick and show us exactly where it is and there we go so as far as the coax goes I think the best way to route this is for it to come here and then down across this way over the top of the battery wires here there's a slight indentation on the uh, magnesium chassis here and then for it to come up running along the side of the battery connector here and then turn down here and we can solder on to the uh, two contacts here on the uh, back cover and then it will make contact with these two contacts to the uh, Wi-Fi card so what I'm doing I'm laying it out to where I think it uh, should go and I'm just holding it in place with some masking tape and as soon as I'm happy that I've got that trace copied out perfectly I shall uh, use a little bit of um, epoxy glue to just glue it in place more permanently so I've just um, stuck down the coax on the other back and uh, while that's drying I want to actually know exactly where these uh, two copper contacts here for the uh, antenna actually uh, make contact with those pads so I know where I can solder onto so what I've done, I've done a similar trick to what I did here and I got some sticky foam and I stuck it in place over the actual contacts on the um, antenna, the uh, built-in antenna and I put a couple of little dabs of some blue sharpie on the top of the contacts then I closed them together and then took them back off and I'm now left with two blue dots where these actually make contact on those pads so now I know where I can actually solder onto without um, interrupting the contacts on these two and of course where I've used the sharpie on here I'll just clean off with a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol I've actually stripped back the coax and uh, just tinned it up ready to solder onto these two pads and now that we know that we can solder onto the top of these pads here and here because the Nexus 7 actually makes contact at the bottom here and here so what I'm going to do now is cut away this actual antenna and just leave those two pads in place and if anybody's interested that is the antenna that I've now cut away from the uh, Nexus 7 I thought it may have been an inverted F but uh, it just seems to be a rectangular piece of copper so I've changed my mind from using the copper pads that are left over from the Wi-Fi antenna. Uh, basically it was a lot easier for me to actually come in underneath those two pads. So I actually made my own out of some copper tape. And I've used this before with uh, antennas in the past. You buy it off eBay for just a couple of pounds. So I made them a little bit longer. And like I said, I've come in underneath and looped it back round. And all that just sits a lot neater on top of the motherboard when you actually close the unit up and one more thing that I want to note as well is this pad here is actually your driven element pad where you will solder your center connector of your coax to and this one is actually a shield which goes back to ground and um, your, your outer braid of your coax gets soldered to that one so it's a lot neater like I say and now they actually make contact with those two pins on the motherboard here and here so the Nexus is back together again and I've just got a dipole antenna on the back so let's give it a quick scan and see if we're out of the red. So we're in the green, still climbing, not bad at all. So uh, a big improvement and of course we can stick quite a few different antennas on the back now because uh, we've got that SMA connector. So uh, I hope you found that useful and uh, 
you found it interesting and uh, if you did please uh, give it a thumbs up as always and I'm going to be doing a second video on a another different way to mod the Nexus 7 antenna and next time it's going to be without actually uh, having anything protruding from the back because I'm going to upgrade the built-in antenna and uh, this is a prototype that I've knocked together, it's a bi-quad and hopefully I'm going to be fitting that inside the Nexus 7 to uh, improve the range so uh, I'll uh, hopefully uh, see you for the next one